Hello everyone and welcome back to Planet Zoo. We are here in the Thorns and Vines Zoo researching whether or not or which animal we would like to put into the zoo next. We currently have two Nile monitors and two boa constrictors and we now need to think about what we want to expand the zoo um, further into. So I did actually find two ringtail lemurs for cash. However, their genes and their size are not the greatest so that is a choice we are going to have to make in putting these babies into our zoo. But I think that, so they are from a frontier zoo. Um, the fertility gene for the female is not as good as it is for the male. Um, and the size and the longevity is not that great either. So we're taking the risk of buying this animal and it possibly might not live um, very long. But I do also think that this would be a great um, chance to put these animals in our zoo to give them better lives because the inbreeding of them means that they could actually be sold um, for meat or for something else if the zoo is not, you know, reputable. They do run the chance of being euthanized. So this could be the way that we can take on these animals into our sanctuary and give them good rest of their lives without worrying about breeding them or anything like that. So I think that taking the ring-tailed lemurs into our zoo is actually a pretty good idea. So I'm going to go ahead and do so. Because as much as we want to advance the species and make sure that the species are here for future generations of our people, we also need to realize that it's not at the fault of the animals that they were inbred and their genes are not that great. So we really need to consider that when adopting these animals as whether or not we want to advance their species or just give them good homes to live out the rest of their lives. So I really want to build their exhibit off of the food court um i kind of want to just build a little bit more out this way and then for the bigger exhibits i want to build out further this way so i am going to actually take a look at what they uh need here so they are in the animal trade center i want to take a look at let's see if oops Oh, that's not what I want to do. Okay. I want to take a look at the Zoopedia. Here we go. All right. Zoopedia. Uh, Ring-tailed lemur. Ring-tailed lemur. There we go. Ring-tailed lemur. So we really know... Okay, we know that they like monkey chow and we know that they like a sprinkler. So I feel like that we probably should research them just a little bit. Um... Uh, let's see. So the Nile monitor, the boa constrictor. Did the boa constrictor not get researched? I feel like it was supposed to be, but I don't know if it actually happened. Okay, so we're going to continue to do that for right now, and then we'll research the lemur. So I'm going to go ahead and take this barrier, and I'm going to get rid of it. Um, we're going to edit the barrier, and we're going to bloopity boop it away. Okay, and then we're going to bring the path out this way um for to the lemur exhibit all right so let's kind of hmm, let's build it out this way and then we're gonna build the path out this way so it leads back towards the main part of the zoo so we'll leave that path right there um that way they can come around the lemur exhibit and see it the lemur exhibit shouldn't be that big so it won't be that big of a deal okay now let's go ahead now these guys what do they need as far as barrier let me see here zoopedia does it actually tell us <laughs> i don't know if it does uh ring to lemur Okay, minimum habitat requirements. They need about two ten meters of space and they need a grade one climb proof wall. Okay, so that is good to know. That is really good to know. So they need a climb proof wall. So let's find a barrier that is climb proof. Um, and I think, I don't know if it'll tell me what barriers climb proof and what isn't. 
Uh, okay. Well, we're going to do the wood logs. Um, and we'll definitely have to... I don't know if it'll tell me. Ah, oh, this one is climb proof. Okay. So... All right, this one is climb proof. Okay, perfect. So let's go ahead and take this right here, right now, and we'll put it this way. And they don't need that big of a space, so I don't want to make something super big. So maybe something like... Oh, the vet research is complete. Perfect. So maybe something like this. And then um, I kind of want to get glass in here. So let's go ahead and do some curved glass. Uh, we'll do a straight section of it, I think. And then maybe a curved section. I don't know, you guys. I don't really know what I'm doing. I don't actually know what I'm doing. Okay. It's a pretty elongated exhibit. That might actually be too big for them, but we'll see. Okay, so then we want to raise the height of it. So let's highlight this whole entire area. And I don't know how high we need to make it. Probably about four, I would think. I think four would do it. They won't be able to climb that now, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully they won't be able to climb that now. Okay, so let's go ahead and yeah i know we are low on cash but that's okay so the vet research is done so i actually want uh research complete yay congratulations we discovered three items over one species perfect okay so we're not going to be able to research the uh lemurs just yet because they're not in the um exhibit which is fine so let's go ahead and oh we need to put in a habitat gate da, 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 da. we need to put in a habitat gate so let's put in the habitat gate over this way and we'll make a staff path over here don't worry you guys my building skills will get a little better as we go on but for right now for the beta i'm just kind of trying to learn everything um i was actually thinking that what would end up happening is when the full release of the game comes out i will um i will probably do a series on my own where i uh can i actually like press shift and select all no i can't that's so that kind of stinks because we were able to do like select all in the tutorial but now we can't do select all it's kind of annoying okay so let's go ahead and move these guys into the exhibit perfect all right so now those guys are in route we are going to have them here and let's go ahead and see what kind of stuff they will need um they like monkey chow so let's go to habitat and we'll go to ring tailed lemur perfect so that i know that they do like a sprinkler so oh what is the red oh the temperature means that it's very hot over here okay so you might have to put a cooler in their habitat maybe i don't know all right let's put that in there and then they like they need a food trough and I think that their food troughs should be small that's a water bowl that's a food trough so we probably want food troughs small because there's only two of them or maybe we'll do medium they're about the same amount of money so I don't think it'll be that big of a deal so we'll put the food trough over here and then um oh feeding platform they like to have a feeding platform oh okay okay so we probably should build them oh we probably should build them climbable things got it got it got it got it okay so we probably should build them climbable stuff okay um okay so yeah they're thirsty well let's get them the food and water in here first and then we will worry about whether or not of what we need to do so let's put the water bowl in here probably like over here maybe um 
Okay. So. Okay, so let's kind of look at their welfare. So obviously they're thirsty. They're going to need to get that. Their habitat, the terrain is no bueno. So they need more climbable area. Okay, so we do need to build them climbable area. They want more soil, which I can provide. Yeah, I think in the tutorial, their habitat was literally all dirt. They like all the dirt. Okay, so then we'll do like a little bit of short grass. Perfect. Okay, so now they need climbable area. They also want more plants, which I expected. Um, all right, so let's... Oh, they like more than two in their population as well. Okay, well, let's go ahead and see if we can't build them something climbable um, away from the... What you call it? So... Like, let's say I put that there. Um, that's a climbable, irregular shape. This is... Can I put this on top of here? I mean, I'm assuming I can. I don't see why I wouldn't be able to. Um, I don't... I, yeah, I don't see why I wouldn't be able to. Climbable ramp... Mm -hmm. Okay, so we can have the climbable ramp. Let's turn it around and have it like attach right there maybe? No, that's not tall enough. Um, give me one second, you guys. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Dog interruptions are still a thing these days. Okay, so let me... Um, uh, okay, this is, this is a climbable platform. How do I make it climbable? Oh, oh, okay. So let's just kind of do it like that, I think. Um, okay, hold on. This is a little... This is the part where, like, I need to do this. Um, align to surface. Reset height. Oh, can I... Okay, yeah, that's fine. But can I rotate it? Uh, okay. Can I toggle? There we go. Okay, so this is where it moves it this way. This moves it that way. How does this move it? Uh, okay. Mm. Excuse me. Ah, okay, so I can do it this way. I'm trying to get it to... Okay, there we go. There we go. That's what I really wanted. Okay, so then let's do it that way. And then... Awesome. Okay, so then... I can take it and move it. And... Maybe? <laughs> maybe move it? I don't know. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, let me move back just a little bit. Okay, does that go... Oh my gosh, it doesn't even touch the floor. <laughs> Okay, so basically what I'm seeing here is this is just very, like, you really have to, like, it would need to touch the floor, but this is, it's just, it's too tall. Like, this, this is too tall is basically what the issue is. Okay, so, um, I need a climbing ramp. This, this goes 60 degrees. This is flat. Oh, this is a climbable platform. I am such an idiot. Okay. Um, well, dang. I don't know how we would get this to be up there. You know, like this is, this is very, huh. Okay. Okay, let's put it down like that, right? And then let's take this maybe and move it. And like move it like can we move it like this like can it do this is that like a bad idea okay let's do that and then let's let's shift and go down I think we can do that right like it'll still work right I'm pretty sure it would work that way and it touches the ground awesome but does it need to be like lowered like does it need to be um, lowered down. 
like that, but also, um, let me do this. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Does it need to be like that? So that way they can actually climb on it. You know what I mean? Like, hmm. Hmm. Oh, that's not even, that's not even right. That's not even right. That's not even correct. Okay, hold on. Uh, X for advancement. That's fine. Circle that way. Okay. I don't even know if that'll work. I have no idea if that will work. <laughs> I have no idea if that's going to work, you guys. Um, okay. This is very weird. Okay, so... Can the keeper fill this up here? Quantity? Oh, no, that's how they fill it. Okay. Huh. This is all very weird. Very, very weird. Okay. Um, so they have more climbable area, but we definitely need... Yeah, I know. You have low welfare. I got it, sweetie. Don't you worry. We are going to... Um, the one thing we're going to do is we're going to research you. Definitely. Oh, he's still researching the boa constrictor. <gasps> oh! Oh! You little... Uh, capture! <gasps> uh, I'm sorry? <laughs> so they can climb that. That's not high enough? I don't think it's high enough. <gasps> I don't think it's high enough. How did you escape? Hold on, I need to know how these little fuckers escaped. <coughs> and I have no idea. Is is it not? Okay, hold on. It's, okay, it has to be because it's not tall enough, right? Like, I don't know anything else of a reason of why they would have escaped. <laughs> Oh my gosh, seriously? Wait, why is it obstructed? Hold on. I want to I want to do this. No, nope, no. Nope. Stop. 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 I don't want to do that. I just want to edit the barrier. No, stop. 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 Okay. Hold on. Edit the barrier. Go around like that. Okay. And then Why is it obstructed? Is it because it's trying to climb on it again? I don't understand. <laughs> I do not understand. Okay. Um, can I move you? Please? Please go back into the <laughs> exhibit. Um, wow. Okay. So let me, <laughs> let me do a thing here. Um, okay, we <laughs> need, they like tropical trees, so let's give them some tropical trees, please. Um, oh my god, that was pretty redonkulous. Okay, so let's do this, and what else do they like? They like, uh, hold on, I'm trying to find tropical trees here. Um, that's really tall. Um, this is tropical. This is climbable as well. Um, okay, perfect. What, do they not like it? Not from the same continent as the animal. Incompatible continent. I mean, does that really matter? It looks like that they don't mind it. Okay, well, they're going to need food, um, which there's the water bowl, and then I need the water trough. So this, I need to call a keeper to the habitat anyway. <laughs> Holy heck, you guys. Okay, so, um, okay, lemurs are about to be very difficult for me, aren't they? They're about to be so difficult. Okay, so this is fine, but we definitely need more enrichment for them. Uh, which means I need to research them. So you know what I want to do then? I want to actually hire 
um, another vet, I think. I want to hire a vet and I want this vet to be able to research them as well. Because we only have one vet and we're going to start having more animals. So this needs to happen. Okay, so you are in charge of them. Perfect. So I like that. I like that a lot. All right. Can I put the food up here or is that like a not what you do? Like, cause, cause I put the food, no, you can't put the food up there. So the, the keeper will just put the food up there themselves. Okay. Um, how many, how many staff do I actually have? I have two keepers, um, one caretaker. Okay. Um, create a work zone. Oh, I don't know what this is in this work zone. Uh, I don't know what that is, but okay. We'll have to figure that out later. I don't know what that is. Um, okay. So let me hire another keeper as well, because I feel like that that's something that needs to happen. Um, now that we have three and then do I need to hire more vendors? I feel like my vendors are not in here when they're supposed to be. Let's just hire one more vendor. Um, and then maybe he can trade off with the others. Okay. So let's unpause this. Um, all right. So what I kind of probably should do then is actually make another keeper, um, animal is starving yeah i understand that so what i probably want to do is make another keeper food area over here because they're gonna have to walk a very long way to get to that so keeper hut small so let's go ahead and this will maybe just be temporary um until i build another compound because I want the keeper to just go ahead and feed them. Um, yeah, okay. So let's go ahead and call keeper to habitat. Here, get rid of that and then call keeper to habitat. There we go. Then it should be the closest keeper. There we go, yep, there he goes. Wonderful. I know you're close to death, calm down, calm down. You're gonna be okay. He is going to feed you guys. Um, is someone coming to get this? Yes, there's the caretaker. We only have one caretaker as well. So we really need to get another caretaker. All right, he's going to go in there and make food. And that way the lemur will be okay. This is a little intense, you guys. Holy heck. I still don't know how that lemur escaped. Um, protesters have a ride at your zoo. Yeah, it's about the lemur. I know it's about the lemur. All right, um, your zoo has no security guards. Oh, so that's what you hire the security guards for, is for the protesters. Okay, well, let's hire a security guard. Let's hire a security guard. Let's put him right here at the front. Um, to deal with the security guards, they're the protesters. Okay, great. We have protesters now. Great. All we need now is an inspector to show up. That would be annoying. All right. Oh, <gasps> you little monster. Oh, you are. Get back in there. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, so how do I stop them from climbing? I don't know. You guys. <laughs> It said it was climb proof. It said it was climb proof. I don't understand. So is it not climb proof? I don't know. This has got to be climb proof, right? Like this has got to be climb proof. Uh, 
I'm so confused. Oh, I see it now. Okay, so that did make it climb proof, so they can't get over at that top. Okay, so let's... Yes, make this climb proof, please. <laughs> okay, so I figured out how to make it climb proof. Perfect. Okay, so let's make this one climb proof as well. Um, okay, let's circle that. Climb proof. Okay. And then, let's circle that, and, okay, did that make it climb proof? I don't think it did. Okay, is that, is that good enough? Okay, we've now made it climb proof. Okay, that was, okay, great. <laughs> All right, guys, I've made it climb proof. Perfect. Are you in there? Unbox. You need to be unboxed. <laughs> this is insane. Okay, so um, we have a lot of work to do, you guys. <laughs> this is so insane. Okay. Well, we need to actually work on their habitat a little bit because... Oh, actually, no. Their habitat's fine now. It's the enrichment. We need more enrichment for them. Okay, so we are also low on cash, which is totally correct. Oh, the boas have low welfare. Oh, why do they have low welfare? Their exhibit. Exi exhibit ecosystem has severe welfare issues. Uh, okay, we're going to have to figure that out in the next part, you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and end this part here. Thank you guys so much for watching. In the next part, we are going to um, figure out more about the zoo. <laughs> <laughs> and make sure that we make things climb proof when they are supposed to be climb proof. Um, because this, this is just getting a little intense. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos from me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.